hey guys what's up and welcome back to another episode of it's about everything so in today's episode i'm going to show you how you can make a power bank from a 12 volt lead acid battery now the battery that you're seeing in front of you is an old battery it's not a new battery and its rated capacity is 7 amp power but now it only gives about 3 amp power so it will do the job for now so to make a power bank i need to reduce the voltage from 12 volt to 5 volt so here i'm using a buck converter so i bought this for about 40 rupees and it's usually fitted inside cars to charge up mobile phones or smartphones or whatever but uh, here i'm going to use it as a module to step down the voltage to charge up my smartphone so i'm going to use these clips to attach it to the battery and on the other end it has this tiny small barrel jack which is uh, usually used for charging Nokia phones old uh, Nokia bar phones but here I'm going to convert it using this adapter to a micro USB so I was lucky to get this adapter uh, nearby so that's why I was using it that's why I'm using it actually otherwise I had to cut the wire so now it, it has converted to a micro USB now I will connect it and I'll show you how it works so it has a red LED on top of it and when disconnected you can see it glows that means it's active now I can simply connect my phone and it will start charging so here you can see it has started charging and as soon as I remove the charger it stops charging so normally power banks that are 10,000 mAh capacity they are rated at 4 volts the batteries are of 4 volts at full charge so at 10,000 mAh which means 10 amps it gives about 40 watt hour but the lead acid battery 12 volt 7 amp is about 80 watt hour so it's double the capacity so it's comparable to a uh, 20,000 mAh power bank now the battery is an old battery so I will not compare it if the battery was new then it might have worked but as the battery is old it might charge uh, the phone a few times say three or four times it will charge the phone now when the battery is down I need to recharge the battery now there is another aspect of the power bank where it needs to recharge itself so this is the Jugard battery charger that I made you can also see a video related to it in my playlist and it's called Jugard battery charger so now I'm connecting this charger with the battery now this charger does not have an auto cutoff feature so you need to monitor the battery voltage and if the battery voltage gets above 14.5 volts then the battery is going to get damaged so now I'm going to take a voltage reading from the battery terminals there you go so I have already charged up the battery before making this video so it's already charged up and the rated voltage float voltage of this battery is 14.2 volts and now the voltage is 14.6 so it's overcharging so I will remove the charger so all these components are not kept together in my uh, room they are actually kept separately the battery is attached to my UPS and the charger is connected with uh, the DC fans that I've made previously I use this charger to run the DC fans because they are only 20 watt and the AC fan pulls about 40 watts so it's half the power and that's why I use the DC fan with this charger and this buck converter is just lying around in the corner of my table so whenever there is an emergency situation and there is a power cut I immediately bring everything together just like the Avengers I bring everything together and use it to charge up my phone so I pull the battery from the battery bank that I use in my UPS my UPS has about three or four batteries if you have seen my playlist you will already know so from there I pull one battery and the charger and the buck converter and together it becomes 
a power bank so i hope you like this video if so then hit the like button and share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe my channel so thanks a lot for watching i hope you enjoyed this video i'll see you soon and have a nice day